Ursus americanus, otherwise known as the American black bear. These omnivores have an estimated population of 339,000 to 465,000 across the entire U.S. Historically, these critters have occupied the majority of North America's forested regions, and Native Americans considered them to be a symbol of wisdom, resilience, and healing. These bears, though called black bears, come in many different sizes and color combinations. There's chocolate, cinnamon, blonde, brown, and of course black. Female black bears can reach weights from 90 to 180 pounds, where males can reach weights from 130 pounds to 660 pounds. Just last year, a black bear in North Carolina was taken by Caleb Henry from Fine Creek, North Carolina, that weighed in at a whopping 696 pounds. Females have a gestation period of seven months and typically give birth in January whilst hibernating. Litter sizes range between one to six cubs, but typically is around two or three. But as a kid growing up in northern Utah, I was told black bears didn't exist. And from that time, a curiosity brewed. After all, it couldn't be true, as my great-grandfather killed a giant buck, and while he was field dressing this buck, he stumbled into a black bear and shot it too, which of course made the local newspaper. When I embarked on my bear hunting journey, I didn't have a clue of where to go, what to do, or how to do it. Eric here with Team Muley Freak. So, if you're like me, you have to start from scratch. First things first, if you want to hunt black bear, you need to hunt where they are. Black bears range from Alaska, most of Canada, the contiguous United States, and even down to northern Mexico. But don't shoot one in Mexico as you'll wind up in Mexican prison. Because of their versatile diets, they can live in a variety of habitats. I cut my teeth in New Brunswick on a guided archery bait hunt, and since then I've spot and stalked DIY'd all over the U.S. learning more and more about black bears and their habitats. With the help of good friends, we've laid some true giants to rest. I've had face-to-face -face encounters, dodged rattlesnakes, and also endured extreme weather in my pursuits. But through it all, I've learned some important tips and tricks that will hopefully make you a more successful bear hunter. Number 11. Shoot straight. When I say that, I mean execute a distance. I'm not suggesting you should shoot an animal as far back as you can as everyone's effective range is different. But oftentimes, these backcountry shot scenarios are 500 yards plus. The country is big, it is steep, and the shot angles are difficult. Take, for example, this incredible kill shot I made at 1,008 yards. If there's one thing I've learned is if you want to find big bears, you have to go where most people can't or aren't willing to go. Being in tip-top shape and physically fit is crucial and will stack the odds more in your favor. Find a program like Mountain Tough Fitness that will elevate your fitness and fortify your mind. On this particular shot sequence, I was able to lay prone and get comfortable behind my 300 PRC, and when everyone was set and ready, I sent a 212 grain Hornady ELDX downrange and hammered this giant color phase black bear. Drilled him. Drilled him. So it all came together last light, last night at 1,000 yards. And... Number 10. The next clip is of Aaron's big backcountry bear. We had been grinding out 3,200 vertical for the last three hours in the middle of BFE. Tired and ready for food, we finally got to where we would likely be camping. However, right away our friend Taylor spotted a color phase bear and it was a tank. With no time to rest after the climb, the hunt was on. This is the caliber of bear that makes the pain to get into this type of country totally worth it. Aaron is also shooting a 300 PRC with the Hornady 212 grain yield DX. The bear was giving him a slightly cornering away shot, and this angle allows the bullet to run all the way up through the vitals, thus killing him quickly. And that's exactly what happened. took a couple steps and then barrel rolled down the steep terrain until it hit the bottom. The retrieval was steep, slick and heavy, another reason to be in tip top shape. Number nine. That bear's coming back the same way it came down last night. We're gonna try and get set up on it. This clip is a good learning experience for everyone. Tyler had this bear at 250 yards on the last day of the hunt and set up on his trekking poles to see above all the tall brush. 
Right when he shoots, the bear takes a couple steps, putting the shot further back from where Tyler had anticipated. Bears are tough, even with perfectly placed shots. Tyler and Aaron ended up tracking the bear for over eight hours and finally caught up to him in a thick, nasty creek bottom. Wounded bears are not something you want to mess with, so going into the thick brush could be dangerous. So make sure to go in chambered and on the loop. Number eight. Tyler gets redemption with this giant black bear right before dark. I love the footage of Tyler running down the mountain with a full pack trying to get into position to shoot this bear. Out of breath and with the bear feeding downhill and out of sight, Tyler steadies Aaron's 300 wind mag and hammers this bear right at 243 head. yards with a 200 grain Hornady ELDX. Again, physical fitness being a big factor on this hunt. He dropped in and recovered him right away. Just shot. Just dropped him. And one shot kill just the way you want to do it. Uh, those Hornady uh, bullets did the trick on this guy. Number seven. Let's head to Utah for Clint's limited entry bear hunt. Now people have a lot of opinions on baiting bears and there's a bunch of rules you need to follow to bait them in various different states. With that being said, in some places, baiting bears is the only best option because you can get a lot closer in country that's so thick that it's impossible to spot and stalk. Aaron and Clint spent a lot of time setting up baits and hiking and packing and food for this moment to finally happen. This cinnamon bear was hungry and after watching him eat for a minute or so, he finally stepped out from behind the tree and Clint smoked him with a 162 grain Hornady ELDX. You can see the bullet impact 12 ringing the Bruin, yet he still ran 40 yards before dying in mid-flight. He tumbled right there. Perfect shot, he's down right there. Number six. Montana is one of my favorite places to hunt black bears. With tons of logging roads that offer clear cuts, you can only hope to catch a bear grazing in the open long enough to size him up for maturity and execute on a shot. This was exactly what happened. We hiked three plus miles to the end of a logging road and a giant Bruin fed out of the timber. I got prone at 750 yards away with my 300 PRC and sent a 212 grain ELDX his way. He dropped and started rolling, revealing a beautiful white patch on his chest. We found him expired in the creek and pulling him out wasn't easy, even with three grown men. Here he is. We worked our butts off recovering this guy. Number five. Bonsai bears, one of our most popular bear hunting videos. We backpack deep into the backcountry. The crew and I prepare many months in advance for this hunt by functionally training, and it still seems like our body is never quite prepared for it. Last season, we pushed even further into an area we always deemed off limits because getting to there and shooting and then packing a critter out seemed impossible. But that's just the type of adventure we seek. We climbed 4,000 feet in vertical just to get into an area that was suitable for a tent. And on day three, we found ourselves 650 yards away from a big bear. We waited all day for this bear to present a shot and he finally fed out. Perched up on a rock with my 7 PRC, I had to get creative to build a shooting position to get a shot off. I had to wait for him to clear the brush. A 175 grain ELDX travels fast and hit the bear hard. He was hurting, so I followed up with another shot as he stumbled off the cliff. When I got over to him, he was laying beside a beautiful waterfall. Number four. We've all come a long way in our bear hunting journey. I still remember Aaron shooting his first bear. I just shot my first bear. I'm still shaking because I'm so excited. Since then, he's taken a lot of bear over the years. In this clip, he set up on a nice bear at 380 yards, slightly quartering away. He picks the last rib and runs 175 grain ELDX up through the vitals, quickly killing this bear. Ready? Yep. Number 
three. You know it's a big bear when you can see his belly dragging on the ground. Tyler's go-to rifle for years has been the 7mm. One thing I've learned is that in this type of country, it's tough to get close to bears, so you'd better make a good shot. And you better have a caliber that has marginal recoil as follow-up shots are oftentimes required. Dude. Number two. Most of our bear hunts have taken place in the spring when bears are right out of their dens looking for green grass to pass that digestive fecal plug. However, this particular hunt takes place in the fall in the same place that I have been archery hunting out. Fall bears are always bigger and fatter and have full coats as they prepare for winter. They are trying to eat as much as they can so to store up those much needed fat reserves. Since I had just shot an elk a couple days prior, we decided to sit across the canyon and see if any bears would discover the carcass. After a few days with no luck, this ancient sow showed up and started munching on the elk remains. Posted up at 297 yards, I elected for a high shoulder shot, which is, in my opinion is the most lethal shot option on these tough animals. He's a giant. <laughs> He's a freaking giant. He's a freaking giant. <laughs> He's a freaking giant. Number one. The name of this film is Timber Bruin, and that's because we hunted for days only to see a single bear. We had some crazy weather the night before and had to pull trees out of the road with some of our new friends. And it should honestly swing that. We were getting ready to head home, but decided to try one last cut we found on the map. While walking in on the logging run, I came around the corner and saw a sow. Only a few yards away from her was a big running boar trailing her. I kept thinking we would run into a bear if we put in the proper work. Additionally, the green grass and flowers were in full bloom, thus making it irresistible to cruising bears. I backed up and grabbed my cameraman with excitement as we snuck around the corner. As the bear rounded the corner and came into focus, we locked eyes and he winded me. But right before he could turn, I hammered him in the chest at less than 20 yards away on a public logging road. This bear was operating off pure adrenaline. He took a 212-gram ELDX from a 300 PRC at 20 yards and still got back up and was able to roll off the trail. Talk about tough critters. That was insane. Be sure to subscribe to more videos like this, leave a comment, and we'll catch you on the next one.